uh, uh, discourage you. Yeah. And that kind of quenches your right. spirit. Amen. You see, then you feel misunderstood. Yeah. You know? And then you feel like closing up. Because now you don't want to say Amen. anything to them because you know you're going to get a negative vibe. Is God negative or God is positive? positive. God is a positive God. He's always positive. We're the ones that are negative yes. because it's that simple. Remember Mama used to tell you and Daddy, who you hang out with, that determines who you are. Hang out with the right people, you're going to do the right thing. You hang out with the wrong, it's that common sense. It's so simple, but yet it's so profound. If you hang out with negative people, you're going to be in a negative atmosphere. I've said it a billion times there. I tell it to my kids. You be careful. I'm very careful with my children. Amen. What does this, I even put a sticker up there. What it says, for me and my house, with what? Serve the Lord. Period. No doubt. Amen. For what? What's the third one? They feel unloved. Unloved. Especially when you feel excited about something and you can't wait to tell that person and then you get home, even I fall short of that. I said, Lord, forgive me. Help me to be more of a listener. Well, I'm going to get to that in the scripture. Amen. Now, that's family. Let's go to the next one. Church. Who's the church? We're the church. Church. They feel what? Unnoticed. Unnoticed. Why the pastor always picking on what's the name? Get up and speak the word, and he don't speak to me. <laughs> or tell me to get up there and share the word. You see? Mm -hmm. What happens? That's exactly what happens. That spirit comes on us. Amen. You see? Who's firing up that spirit? We are. We keep adding wood to that to that feeling. Number two. Overlooked. Overlook. Same thing. You feel why? 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 And then now that starts working in. I'm gonna leave the church now. Because you didn't pick, then you start centering on this on you like they're actually picking on you. No, that's a lie from the pit of hell. That's right. That's what the devil wants you to say. He can get you out the door so you don't come to church. That's right. Number three, yeah. feeling what? On the but I do this, I do that in the church, and I, I, I man, I clean the floor. I come to the church. I, I, I play an instrument. I, I sing. I do the. The ushering, I, I, I vacuum the carpet, and, and I never got a thank you from the pastor. Who are you doing it for? Let's realize, who are you doing it for? For the pastor, you're doing it for God. I can't save you. God is the only one. I'm just the mouthpiece that God is using to, to, to share the gospel. And so are you. I have no power or authority that you don't have. But we have the same Father. You that's see? Right. But that's why the Bible says that he's given us each an ability, right? Because if we all have the same ability, then what, what would we need to? He says that the body, he's the head with the body. Every ligament, every joint working, what? Together, but what? In love. In love. That's the number one word. It's love. love. Amen? Amen? So now, we start feeling unappreciated because you see, that's what the devil called. Man, do what you don't. Don't go to church. Don't clean the church. The pastor don't even say nothing to you. You know, someone said to me uh, uh, something, and, and I said, you know what? People, will, they're going to find an excuse yes. to say what they want because it's about them. See, it's not really about me or the church. It's Amen. about them. Amen. You see, we got to learn first to bind those things that are stopping us from yes. growing. You see? So... We stop it, and you got to remember, why do I come to church? Why do I pay my time? Because I'm keeping my covenant with God. You see, I'm putting him first before the situation. I'm not doing it because of I want somebody to see me cleaning the carpet or doing this. I'm doing it because I'm doing it for my Father, who's in heaven, who saved me for myself. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm sorry, I hope I'm not getting too deep or too... I just want to speak something because I think that these issues that nobody, you know, I haven't heard, let me say that, that we need to talk about and preach about. Stuff that we're going in our daily lives that, yeah. that's stopping us from growing. We got to recognize what the problem is in order to move forward. Amen? Let's go to the next one. That's the church. Workplace. Oh, see, I'm hitting every target at the job. We feel what? Together? They feel slighted. Number two? How many times you what am I doing? Is, remember, you're a representative of God. Amen. You're a royal priesthood. 
you are an ambassador of yes. Christ. Yes. Yes. One thing I know about Joey, because I talk about Joey, and I'm not just lifting him up, but I'm lifting the spirit that's within him. And his job, he, you got people that, you ever work with people, I'm not going to mention it, but you work with people that they come to work. Well, they ain't paying me enough, so I ain't doing nothing. Is that the truth? Yes. So, no, so why you took the job for? You're getting paid, right? Mm -hmm. But are you doing it for them, or you, or you gotta honor God wherever you at? So whatever job you got, you say, no, I'm gonna do my best. Not because I'm doing it for the salary, even if we get paid. I'm doing it because God sees me, you see? Yeah. And I'm a representative of God. And I'm not gonna do what they do, because then I become part of the system. Yeah. Now, how many Christians that we know, let's speak the truth, that are one way in church and then in the job, they're different. They're not showing the light of Christ. Yeah. You see, God is not in that picture. But what does my brother do? He always encourages people. Does more above than the job. So he finds favor. Whatever he asks, God grants him. And not even that. Amen. Those at the workplace say, no, this is a great guy. I'm going to honor him. Yeah. Whatever he needs, I can trust him. Why? Because they said, that's a man of God. Amen. You see, it's how we live our lives. Oh, always remember that. Don't worry about what you get. God sees what you're doing. And God opens up to us. Amen. Remember that. And you are an ambassador of Christ. Christ. If you have a relationship with him, it's not just in church. It's every every day of your life. Amen. Amen. Should speak about who you are, not just by your mouth, but by your action. Yeah. How many times I say we could talk the big talk, but if you don't take action, nothing's gonna happen. You got to believe and have faith and trust in God. Amen? Amen. Let's go. Do you get that? Let's go to the next one. Friends. Friends. Number one is what? You we all went through this, high school, junior high school, public school. Why do we always hang out with this and they leave me alone? I'm in the lunchroom by myself, nobody talks to me. And you start feeling guilty and then, you know, don't worry about that. You know, you got to remember who you are, you see? Don't worry about people. When you know who you are, people will recognize and they want to be around you. You see, because they, got, they want what you got. You see, you have that peace, you have that joy. You see, don't no regardless. You know what I'm saying? People track me. I was telling a uh, person this morning, I said, you know, I've been here. There might be a small church. Not to say anything, but the mayor, everybody has come here. I never went looking for nobody. They always came here. Amen. You see? My name got around. I didn't know. I went to that car place where, you, where we got the car. I didn't know them, but they knew me. See, you don't have to pro you know, say who you are. You see, it's by your action, people will see who you are, and they would even testify. Man, that's, a, that's, that's, that's sister so-and-so, man. She's a, man, she's always encouraging people. She goes over there, and you'd be surprised. You don't even know these people, and they know who you are. Why? Because the light of Christ is within you. That's a, that's a sister, that's an ambassador of Christ. When they see joy, that's an ambassador of Christ. You see what I'm saying? That's what's in us. You got to recognize that wherever you at, you're the light of God. How many times I said it? Go in the store is empty. And, and my daughter was at that time. I was sharing with. I'm gonna say this again for those that were not here. You walk in the store, and I want you to test something out, right? You're a servant of God. You love God. You walk in that store, ain't nobody in there. Turn around a few minutes later and see that store ain't packed. Because wherever you go, you're blessed. Amen. You see, you bring the blessing wherever you act. Right. You see, but you got to know that. You got to recognize that because what the word is in you. Yeah. You see, the Holy Spirit is within you. Look at yourself that way. I am an ambassador of God. I am a royal priesthood. And when you do that, then you know who you are. You know who you belong to. And everybody around you, you don't got to say nothing. You don't got to say one word. They will see the light come in. Amen? That is the truth. Number two, they feel what? Disappointed. Those are spirits. Remember when I did that illustration about I put signs on everybody? And I said the woman with the issue, well, I use that thing. But I put signs. One was laziness. One was uh, 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 unbelief. And I said, if that woman with the issue of blood didn't push, but she knew that Jesus was there. He didn't even know that she was there, that she was going for a healing. But she knew that Jesus was there. She didn't look at the people. She pushed her way through. Yeah. And that's what we got to do with our natural eyes. Push your 
away those things that are holding you back from Christ. Amen. I'm lazy. I need to get away from that. I got to get involved. I got to do that. I got to read the word more. I got to empower my mind, my spirit. You see, because the enemy can only get you through here. That's right. If he gets the head, he gets what? The body. You see, if Satan comes in here and gets me, I'm the head as far as the church, the church, what happened, trickles down. You see, just like in your family. If it gets you and you're the leader in your family, it trickles down to the family. Yes. You got to be aware that the enemy comes to what? To kill, to destroy, and to divide. Amen. But you have power over it, but you got to utilize it. Amen. The way you utilize it, you got to know that those things that are in you, you got to take them out and get into the Word. Amen? Amen. And trust God in everything. Let's go to the next one. They feel what? They feel the same about fairness. And this one especially, they feel overtaxed. <laughs> Amen. Society, even society treats. So you know you're battling all these issues. But that's what stirs up anger within us. Yeah. And we have to learn to subdue the anger and let the Holy Spirit that's within us arise. Amen? Amen. Now I'm going to give you the word. And we're going to read it. Amen? Y'all got that down? Oh, write it down before. Amen. Is this good or what? Yes. And those watching my video, I'm telling you, man, God has everything in control. We just got to obey and trust Him and put Him first. 